Hello my friends, welcome to today's vlog. I, uh, well I apologize for all that noise. I'm at Walmart and the I'm parked like right beside the cart return and they're retrieving all the carts. Anyways, um, I really wanted to um, get back into a video. I feel like I need to do something to keep my mind busy. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I had posted not too long ago where I was just not feeling right. Um, just, you know, mentally just wasn't feeling good. Anyways. But it won't be a long break. So I decided I was going to do a vlog today. I just got off of work. I need to go into Walmart. There's a few things that I need to get. So I figured... I will take you guys with me and um, see what we can find. I want to say thank you so much to everybody that has reached out, sent me messages, texted me, called me. But I want to go in here and get all my stuff done that I need to get done um, so I can go home because that's all I want to do. I just want to go home. So let's go in and get my stuff. So I really want to try like that new e.l.f. Um, blush. It's like the dupe for, I don't know what the name of it is. Anyway, they don't have it. They never have anything here. Like everything is always jacked at this store. Every time I come in here. So of course they're not going to have it. Of course. So they have all of their Christmas stuff. It's like, it's 90% off. And I'm wondering like if I should get some of this stuff for next year or not. Like these little stocking decor things, they're so cute. But I don't know, do I need Okay, so Bodhi needs a new girlfriend. So I need to pick one out. He's been, he's had all of them. This one's really cute with the mushrooms on it. Like this is one of my favorite ones. This one's really cute. Just a little stripey one. But this one's cute too. With the dogs on it. I think this is the one that Reuben got him at Christmas. Should I get this one? Yeah. I was also thinking about getting one of these just like really cheap floor lamps for my office because when I do declutter it and clean it, I really want one of these because I hate having that big overhead lamp on like when I'm editing and stuff. So I'm thinking about getting one of these. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll come back. I'll think about it. Wait, is that a white one? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Shoot, now that's silver. Come on. Silver, silver, silver. Like a brown one. I don't want a brown one. <laughs> I mean, does it matter? No. But does it matter? Yes. All right, we'll think about it. All right, you guys know that I have shown you these before, but look at these new ones. Look how cute that is. And look at this blue one with the flowers. Oh my gosh. They're adorable. And look at these. Look. How stinking cute. So cute. I do need to get another one of these for... The kitchen and my office. I just don't know what I want. I always get the same thing. I should switch it up. Palm tree breeze. Ooh, Hawaiian coconut. Cozy comfort. I'll take you. I need one more. Meditative calm. Hell yeah. Call me. 
And of course I have scanned all of these to see if they have anything new. Oh, hold on. That's new. Okay, so I got Deep Blue Waters and Paradise Shores. Deep Blue Waters just kind of smells like a really nice man's cologne. Ruben's going to hate it, but I love it. Don't really care. Paradise Shores is just like a, like a sweet, light scent. I think I'm going to like them. Had any of her books. I was drawn to it because it looks just like the ones Colleen Hoover. Um, let me know. I see Valentine's Moomoo's. <laughs> They're so cute. They're so cute. I'm sorry, what? Why is that not the cutest thing in the whole damn world? Look at this one. <gasps> oh. mm, not in love with that. Those are all the same. Oh my god. How cute is that? Look, here's one with strawberries. No, those are cherries. Oh my gosh. Okay, see that's cute, but this material is like that, um, it's not the soft stretchy. I don't know how to explain it, but, I mean, it's cute though, but this one, oh, <laughs> so stinking cute. Oh, no. Get out. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Hold on. I gotta find my size. Holy crap. Okay, they don't have a medium. <gasps> They've got some little cute spring ones too. The little butterfly. And then they have this one. It's just like a little gardening theme going and then they have these little flowers and then this one at the birdhouse it says tweet dreams get out of town all right so i just uh, recorded like five minutes of me talking about these clothes over here and then i went to stop the recording and realized that i never even started that so i don't even know i don't even know what i showed you oh my god look at this look Sushi. <laughs> a little sushi baby. Stinking adorable. Stinking adorable. Oh my god. Y'all shut up. Shut up. Shut all the way up. This little crop. And these little bell bottomy pantalones. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so cute. Hold on, hold on. <gasps> Oh my God, these little shorts. I know y'all can't see me, but hold on. Hold please. Okay. Here I am. Look. This little shirt. And these little heart shorts. Oh my god. So cute. Does she need it? Does she need it? Yes. Oh, look at these little ribbed ones with the little ruffly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. All right, let me see you guys right here. Sit up. Y'all need to listen. Y'all aren't listening. 
see now I could get stuff like for next year right four doll hairs four of them oh my god I just can't she doesn't need any of this her mom and dad are, are already like no we don't need it dang it these are so stinking cute though I want to get her something. <laughs> I definitely need this. I've got to go. What in the hell is this? And Jonas Brothers and got them some popcorn. Look, you can call them too. I don't need any of this, but these are like a weakness. So good. Okay, they have cinnamon, so now I have to get them. Y'all know how to get me, don't you? You're coming home with me. So these right now are on sale and I'm going to go ahead and stock up because I like to make little sandwiches with these or I'll mix them up with some mayo and just eat some with crackers and I'm really going to try hard to lose a little bit more weight. So this is new. We'll try that one too. Okay, so I just left that Walmart came over to my side of town where I live to this Walmart. We have like a little Walmart neighborhood market and that's where I have my prescriptions go and I needed to pick up my new medicine. I don't know why I still have my medicine here because they're without a doubt the slowest people on the face of the planet. I've been here for 27 minutes sitting in this line. There is one person in front of me and we've been here this whole time. The whole entire time. And top that all off, they just opened up that little drawer thing like two minutes ago to get her stuff. What the hell have y'all been doing? Like, what have y'all been doing? I got to change this because I never come over here. I decided to use this pharmacy because they're right by my house. I never come over here. I just need to switch it. People behind me just backed out because they're tired of waiting. But I'm kind of blocked in now, so I can't move. <gasps> Ooh, I think it's my turn. <laughs> okay, don't pay attention to this huge mess on my table, but I wanted to quickly show you what I got just in case you didn't see it. That is not yours. Get down. Okay, so I grabbed this body wash. It smells amazing. I got a new little body poof. You guys saw me grab those and those. I grabbed a couple of these little things to um, kind of like switch up his food, like just a little bit on top. Anyways, um, I got my Moo. I got these cinnamon hearts. I got some cottage cheese. I grabbed a handful of these little tunas. This one's new, I haven't tried it yet. And this is my absolute hands down favorite. I grabbed Bodie's girlfriend. I got one of these little things for my tub. I got these little mini Cheerios. I'm probably gonna have that for dinner if I don't have a sandwich. I got a loaf of bread. I got creamer. This is the coconut cream. I got a thing of coffee. I got two things of pork ramen. I got peanut butter and I got my little pink single um, drink mixes. Okay, so I just took Bodie out. He had dinner. I put all my stuff away. I have on not my new Moo Moo because I have to wash it. But it's so stinking cute. I don't know if I even like really told you or showed you what it was. It's got little ladybugs on it. And it just says love bug. It's so stinking cute. Anyways. So, um. Yeah. Let's chittle chattel for un momento. Um. So, for those of you that care. Or <laughs> just curious. I have had, like, the last month or so has just been really hard for me, like, mentally. 
I cannot pinpoint or tell you what is wrong. I have no idea. All I know is that all I want to do is cry or sleep or cry myself to sleep or cry in my sleep. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if it's like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I've always had anxiety. Like we've talked about this before. I've always had anxiety. It runs rampant in my family. Um, so I would get it honest, but I worry about stuff like, um, okay. So like my youngest, he lives in DC, right? He's got a full-time job. He also goes to school full-time, but when he's not at work, he will do like Uber, right? Like he'll drive Uber, right? Just to get some extra money because he's not working that day. So when he tells me that he's doing that, immediately my mind goes to something's going to happen to him. And then, then my brain goes to, okay, what if, what if the police call me and tell me something's happened to my son? What am I going to do? How am I going to get there? Who's going to take me there? How am I going to handle it? You know what I'm saying? Like it just goes into this whole big thing. And I know that's probably not like normal ish. You know, if you're a parent, you probably get it, but I take it to the max. Okay. Then it gets me worried about my oldest son, Logan. Is he happy? Is he stressed out? Is he, um, tired? You know, he just had a baby. Like, then I start worrying about the baby. It's just, it is, I worry about anything and everything and I make it like horrible, horrible, horrible. We also have, I think I've mentioned this before, how, um, here recently, one of my newest obsession uh, things is sinkholes. I can't explain it. Okay. I don't, <laughs> I can't explain it, but down at the end of my street, we have like this bridge and a creek, right? And they have been working on this bridge thing for like a year and a half. They're making it part of the greenway. So they've cut out like this big place and they've put like this really nice big walkway. You can walk your dog, you can run, bike, whatever. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, my house is up on the hill right on top of this bridge, like right behind this bridge. And they've been digging out all of this stuff, right? So what happens with water? It erodes, right? It like over time will erode out the earth. I don't even know if that's the right word. But you know where I'm going with this, okay? So I'm like, okay, now that they've been down there working on it and messing with it and pissing off the dirt, what if in the middle of my sleep, it all just gives way and the earth opens up because there's water down there and it's like a big canyon cave under my house and I'm in bed asleep and the whole world just opens up and swallows my house. I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I worry about everything. Everything. I worry about um, just yesterday morning. Reuben had to leave early. He's like, I got to leave early because we've got this, that, and the other going on at work. We're doing interviews, blah, blah, blah. Now, has he ever given me a reason to not trust him? Never. Ever. But he goes to the bathroom. He gets ready. It was like 20 minutes before I needed to get up and go to work. He comes in. He has shaved, which, I mean, that's normal, but not really normal for him. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Anyway, he has shaved now he's got cologne on. I'm like, who the hell are you shaving and smelling for? Okay. So, I don't say anything. I give him a kiss. I give him a hug. Love you. Bye. Be safe. TTFN. Okay. As soon as I hear his truck pull out of the driveway, bawling. I'm bawling. I'm like, oh, he's on his way to go see his new girl. Right. Like then for the whole day, that's eating up my brain and I can't concentrate. It's just one thing after another. And it just keeps piling up, piling up, piling up, piling up. So the other morning, I woke up. Okay, my alarm goes off. I wake up. And do you know that feeling like, as an adult, you get up in the morning and you feel immediately like, I'm late for school or I'm late for work. Or what time is it? Like, your whole, you're just so discombobulated. That's what I felt like. I was confused. I was dizzy. I was nauseous. Um, 
my heart was palpitating so badly. I was like, okay, maybe once I get in the shower, I'll feel better. Did not feel better. I felt that way and probably until like lunchtime. And then after that, I had the worst headache ever, like ever. And all I wanted to do was cry. Like I would try to do my work and I'll just be in the middle of doing my work and just waterworks, like complete snotsville. Like I don't know what the hell is wrong with me and I'm just stressed the hell out, okay? So I had been taking a medication for years and years and years and it wasn't doing anything. It wasn't doing anything for me. I was just taking it because I was used to taking it. So I got a new doctor. I was like, hey, man, this ain't helping. And I can't sleep. I can't, you know, this, that, and the other. So he's like, okay, we're going to wean you off of that and then we'll start you on something else. So that's what has happened. I have been weaned off of that for a couple months. I don't know if this is a side effect from that or what. Um, but he did give me a new medication. I got that. And I will start taking that tomorrow morning. And I know that it'll be like four to six weeks before I will see any kind of difference. So I'll let you know about that. Um, and then also just like the obvious. Like YouTube has just stressed me out. Now to, to you guys that just, you know, open up your phone or your TV or whatever, and you just watch videos, it's hard, it's hard to explain, and I know that a lot of you guys that I talk to, like, behind the scenes, I've explained a lot of this stuff to you guys, um, but I, I'm kind of burnt out, I'm burnt out on the cleaning channel because I feel like I'm not giving you guys, I'm not giving you guys something worth watching, because if I feel like it's going to be a shitty video, I don't want to put it out because literally all I do is the same thing over and over again. It's because my life is, it's a normal life. We have a normal mess. I'm not sitting here redoing rooms every other week. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to go out and spend money to make a video that barely gets any views to make a return on. Does that make sense? And I don't want this to just be all about money, money, money. Okay. Because in one sentence, that's not what this is about. But then on the other hand, yes, it is. Because I did start doing this because I just wanted something to do. But then once I started putting in 40, 50 hours a week on filming, editing, all of that good stuff, um, I'm not going to do it just to do it. Does that make sense? I do get a little bit of money out of it. I do get a kickback. I might get, I think the most I have ever made in five years that I've been on YouTube is like $360 in a month. Do you know how much work is put into these videos? Like, I don't understand. Now, I will say this, and I do not want this to be taken or construed in any way, shape, or form that's probably going to be taken, but again, my channel, I'll say whatever I want to, and <laughs> I know you guys will understand. There are a ton of YouTubers that do exactly what I do, but they are at home all day. I'm not saying that they, I'm not saying that what they do is not good or what they do is not um, important because it absolutely is, but I'm outside of my house working all day. I can't do anything until I get home. And by that point, I'm stressed out. My back hurts. Normal things, you know, I'm old. I'm old. I'm almost 50. I have been put through the ringer. I've got two kids that I have raised. Um... I have a grandchild now that I want to put more time into that. You know what I mean? Um, my body is just weary. She's weary. And sometimes I just want to come home and lay in the bed at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and not get back out until I have to get up and go to work again tomorrow, which is fine. I should be okay with that. But then all that keeps going on in the back of my mind is consistency, consistency. You have to upload if you want to, if you want you know, YouTube to push your videos out, you have to make sure that you have videos out at a certain time, every time, same day, every week. I, I can't do, I can't. I just can't. Maybe in a month I'll be okay and I can get back into doing that stuff. But right now, like mentally, I just can't do it. All I want to do is come home and get in the bed. That's it. That's all I want to do. And that's all I should do. If that's, if that is what I need, then that's what I'm going to do. Does that make sense? I do want to talk to you guys. I do want to put out stuff. I do want to create. Um, 
but I feel like I need to fix some things. Like it's just not working. Like whatever it is that I'm doing is just not working. Does that make sense? Like there's so many things that YouTube tells you that you have to do. It has to be a certain length of a video. You should say these things and not these things. You should use these words and not those words. You should always make every single thumbnail look with everything else and everyone else that this isn't going to work out for me then that might just be it then it's just not going to work out for me because I can promise you this if in a year if by the end of 2024 I have not at least doubled what I'm doing on that channel I might just give it up I might just do the vlog channel and just do it for fun or um you know, put more work into the food channel. I don't know. I don't know because that one's been doing pretty good too. But then there again, I worry about that because Ruben's never home. It's just me. I'm not going to waste money and waste food to make a big meal just to make a video for it to go to waste. I'm not doing it. So, um, yeah, I know that was a lot, but life is a lot. And I have just been going through so much. That was just like the, that was the ice cream version of what I've been, what I've been dealing with. Um, I miss my kids. Trem I'm going to cry my mouth. Oh my God. Um, hold on. Okay. Um, this is what I'm talking about. This is what it's been doing to me. Just like, just like that. Um, I miss my kids. I miss seeing them every day like I used to when they were little. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is just like a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on in my life that is just kind of all been pushed down and it's finally just coming out in some sort of you know crazy way <laughs> um I'm not sure I don't know but hopefully we'll get it worked out <laughs> oh my god oh sorry anyway I just want to let you guys know what was going on um and I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I just got to get my shit together, okay? Um, and then see stuff like this. Like, I'm afraid to be myself and put... I can say these words because, for one, I'm an adult. For two, this um, channel is not monetized, so that I'm not going to get in trouble for saying the word shit. Um, but then I think about stuff like when I post, like, reels on Instagram because I think it's funny because that is my personality. <laughs> And then I, like, I will get a, like, a notification that somebody liked it or somebody, you know, whatever. And I'll go and look. Not that you guys are not important. Everybody, everybody that has been supporting me, all of you guys that watch, all of you guys that comment and message me, you guys are so important to me. I can't even explain to you in words how, how much I love you guys and how much I appreciate you. But, like... I get worried because, like, the other day, I posted something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it was. <clears throat> and it got me thinking, like, oh, I need to, you know, watch what I say or how I say things because um, I'm a good person. I just cuss a lot. <laughs> I might drink. I might, you know, whatever. Um, and then I was like, it came to my mind, like, that. And I was like, oh, my God, I better watch what I say. Or Kim Wadsworth will never want to collaborate with me. Fuck. Like, why does that matter? Like, it, that. then that gets in my brain. And then I'm like, well, you have to start acting right. You know, you can't say this, you can't say that, you can't do this, you can't do that. And then on the other side, it's like, girl, be yourself. Who can't? Like, she, if she was going to, she'd have done it already. Because I have been in and out of her DMs for years, okay? 
I don't know. That stresses me out. Um, it's just, that's it. <laughs> oh my God. Somebody needs to slap me. Anyway, so yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm not going to get into anything else because it's just, it's getting embarrassing now. But anyways, I'm going to go make myself some dinner and I'm going to take Bodie out and then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to go the hell to bed because apparently I'm a little bit Delulu. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I really appreciate you coming and watching and sitting through all this and spending a little bit of time with me throughout my evening, listening to my rants and raves and all of the world's problems that I make up in my own mind <laughs> that really don't exist, but here we are. Anyway, I love yens. Um, I'm also going to um, probably get another cooking video out maybe tomorrow. So, if you're not subscribed to that channel, go do that. It'll be linked in the, in the description box. Go and support that channel because that might be the only one I have left here in the next couple of months. Uh, but anyway, that's it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go splash my face with some water. I got the vapors. Uh, but, yeah, I love you. And um, I'll see you. I'll see you. Okay. Love you. Bye.